Hill. I'm here with Brett the Grim Rogers. I'm here with my friend Ninja Hua. I'm here with Roy Bowden. I'm here with Steve the Boss Boss, a very popular fighter here in Quebec. I'm here with, actually, why don't you tell us what your name is? Michael Bolo Clark. So I'm here with Dennis Kang, who's fighting in the main event tonight. Dennis, what's the process like for you to get ready to fight? It's just hard training and proper periodization with the coaches so that uh, you can peak on time. And how about when you're sitting back here in the room and you got a couple hours till the fight, what do you go through mentally to get ready? Just relax and try to not think about the fight too much and that if it does pop into your head, you know, try to, to visualize it positively and, and make sure that everything comes out all right. I'm sure well tonight for you, man. Best of luck. Thank you. He knows that Dennis Kang is very famous in Korea and he respect that, but he doesn't think that it's going to affect much in this game. It's great to be back in front of my fans, you know. Uh, it's good that I don't have to travel and, and you know, it's, uh, I, uh, I can eat my own food and it just makes me feel a little bit more at home. He hasn't had a fight for the last two years. It's kind of complicated. After the Melvin Manuel fight, there was a behind story that uh, I got a fight with a couple of other fighters, actually. And the fight got cancelled right before the fight. That happened, that happened a few times. And I was actually thinking about retirement, too. And I'm lucky that I got this fight from uh, W1 again. And I'm just going to do my best. My opponent is Kim Day Won. He's a fighter coming out of, uh, I think his last fight was in Dream. He's actually fairly well known over on the Asian circuit, not that well known over here. Uh, he's fought a lot of tough guys, Melvin Manoff, Marcelo Garcia, whom he beat and, and spoiled his, uh, his first MMA fight. You know, so he's, uh, he's coming in, you know, looking to win for sure. The judo skills could be uh, I can use some of the judo techniques during the fight, but the, uh, you know the MMA fight always doesn't go like you expected. You gotta expect stand-ups, you gotta expect the ground games. So I'm just gonna do uh, what I need to do at the games. I think with him, I'm definitely going to be the more well-rounded fighter. You know, he's primarily a judo fighter. He likes to clinch and get the takedown. I think that I have much better striking than he does, and I can also fight off the bottom and, and better jiu-jitsu as well. I'm just, I think, more skilled overall. He has a lot of uh, respect to Dennis Kang and it happens that uh, I got a fight against Dennis Kang at W1 and I just want to have a great fight, good fight to the MMA fans and I hope that I'm the one who stands still. Kim Day One, you probably won't understand anything I say to you anyway since you don't speak English so let's just get it on and I'm knocking you out. For the main event, tale of the tape. It'll be contested in the middleweight division. And it's brought to you by Tap Out Energy Drink, available at 7-Eleven. Stay in the fight. Day one, Kim is 31, 5'9, 185 and a half pounds with a record of 11 and 5. Dennis Kang is 31, 5'11, 185 and a half pounds with a record of 32, 11 and 1. First. Introducing in the blue corner from Tap Out Energy Blue Corner from Seoul, South Korea. He represents Team Force. He stands five foot nine. He weighed in at 185 and a half pounds. He has a professional record of 11 wins, five losses, four wins by KO, three by submission. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, Day One Kim. opponent in a tap out energy red corner representing Montreal, Quebec, Canada. He fights out of TriStar Gym and also American top team in Florida. He stands five foot 11. He weighed in at 185 and a half pounds. He has a professional record of 32 wins, 11 losses, 
one draw with 12 knockouts and 15 submissions. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, Dennis Kane! We are set for the main event, W1 MMA and the score fighting series middleweight action between Canada's Dennis Kang and South Korea's Day Won Kim. Referee is Mark Andre Cote. Little known fact that back in 2003 when I was hired to be the play-by-play -play oh. announcer and Kang right away launches a right hand on Kim, bringing him to the canvas immediately from the get-go. And Kim now trying to control Dennis Kang. I was going to say that Dennis Kang was very uh, instrumental in helping me prepare for my journey with Pride Fighting Championships. We'll always be eternally grateful to not only him but, and also David Schulten, but uh, Kang, who is 6-1 in Pride Fighting Championships. 10-0-1 in Spirit MC, and of course, recently in the UFC where he went 1-2. and two. Still one of the very best fighters that Canada has ever produced and off to a great start here tonight. Yeah, I was going to mention that Dennis is not taking this fight lightly for a number of reasons. This is rebound fight after losing to Michael Bisping in the UFC. But also, there's some Korean bragging rights here. Dennis has been Captain Korea running roughshod over the Spirit MC organization with win after win after win. I'm sure he doesn't want to lose to a Korean contender. And this is also Dennis's house. This is a fight in his backyard in front of his own people. He does not want to get defeated here. The six wins in Pride included a 15-second destruction of Marillo Ninja Hua. In fact, his only loss was via split decision to Kazuo Masaki in the final of the 183-pound Pride uh, Grand Prix, a fight in which he was injured earlier in the night as he continues to feed left hands to Daewon Kim. And if he can escape the half guard again, has that head and arm choke ready. Yeah, if you ever dealt the toughness of Dennis Kang, I've had a torn bicep myself. He had a torn bicep between rounds of that tournament. He walked back into the ring, and he fought to a decision, and that is an excruciatingly painful thing to do. And, of course, Kim coming off a loss to the Dutch Mike Tyson, Melvin Manhoff in May of 2008. And there, now the arm triangle choke by oh, Dennis Kang. It's, it's over. over! Dennis Kang records an impressive submission win over day one. Kim, the 16th submission win of his career, bouncing back in very impressive fashion as he begins the journey back to the big time. This is the Dennis Kang that we have come to know and love as fight fans. When Dennis is on, as I've said before, he's one of the absolute best in the world, and Kim's got nothing to be ashamed of. I've been in that very position rolling with Dennis, and, and it absolutely sucks. Dennis started out this fight in fine style, over the top of the right hand, planting Kim right on his booty, and following up with some aggressive work on the ground to secure a position and set up the fight ending show. Dennis Kang, a Brazilian jiu-jitsu black belt under Marcus Suarez, who was one of Carlson Gracie's best students ever, and he utilized those submission skills perfectly tonight. Bouncing back from a loss to Michael Bisping, which cost him his UFC career, but something tells me Dennis Kang is on his way back. Side choke secured, and Dennis doing the right thing, flattening out his body to increase the pressure on that hold. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, referee Marc Andre Cote steps in at 149 in the first round. Your winner by arm triangle, Dennis Kane. 